be able to do that. <laughs> Molly, what's the most important thing to consider when uh, custody decisions are made? So with custody decisions, what the overall um, term is that the courts like to use is what's in the best interest of the child. And what that really equates to in practice is that the court will look at a bunch of things, where is the best place for the child to live and who can provide for the child. But what's most important is which parent is going to facilitate a relationship between the child and the other spouse. And that's really what the courts are looking at these days. It's not about which parent has, you know, is home more, which parent has been around the most, but really which parent is going to facilitate this relationship between the children and the other parent. And something that the courts definitely look at with that is, is one parent speaking to the children in a negative way about the other parent. So what we always like to tell our clients is, don't talk to your children about, your other, about the other spouse except to say mommy loves you and daddy loves you and this is not a problem that has to do with you. This is an adult thing that mommy and daddy are working out. And then you can go out with your girlfriends or your boys to a bar and talk as much crap about the other parent mm -hmm. as you want, but keep it away from the children. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's really what the courts are looking at. Let today. me tell you the street language because this is something honestly I think Molly has really grasped because I consider myself a custody man. I can handle the money in a divorce, but I find it boring. I like custody cases. Now, back in the day, mothers won custody. We're talking back in the day. That's yeah. changed. So what Molly's saying and what I tell clients is, yeah, the physical part of raising a child is very important. I can get the kid out of bed. I can give him breakfast, make sure that the teeth are brushed, mm -hmm. get him off to school, pick him up after school, take them to the uh, doctor, dentist, whomever, make sure they go to camp. Those are the physical attributes of why someone should get custody. I can handle the day-to-day -day physical stuff. But that's shifted in the last 10 years. You need that, but it's the psychological parenting skills that's critical now. And what Molly said is true. Here's what typically happens, and the, the number one thing now is which parent is psychologically able to set a good example for the child. The number one thing in our business now is the parents come in hating each other all the time. And if you put the child in the middle of that dispute, you are not promoting the relationship the child has with the other parent. I'll give you an example. Mother or father, it's gender neutral, has the child with them and says, you know, your father's a real piece of garbage. He did this, he did that. He's hanging out with his secretary. He did this, hurt me, and I'll never forgive him. And you should never ever re uh, acknowledge he's a good guy. Now, a little child's going to believe that. So the psychological aspect of a custody analysis now in a courtroom is which parent is going to promote the relationship the child has with the other parent. That's not promoting what I just showed you. That's undermining. Mm. Because in the child, we call it leakage. In old-fashioned terms, it was brainwashing. Imagine doing that to a child every day or for years. Mm -hmm. Child's like a parrot, soaks this up, spits it out, depending on the age. So why is this important? Because all the studies and the psychology and the experts are saying, in this horrible time in your life, this conflict, if you can stay cool mm -hmm. and put your anger aside, like Molly said, I tell him all the time, if you hate him, go tell your girlfriends at a coffee shop, not in front of the kid. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do it in front of the kid, fake it and pretend you love him. It's, a gr it's an adult thing, has nothing to do with you. Daddy loves you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Then you go out with your girlfriends and you say, that guy's the worst piece of garbage yeah. I've ever seen. Fine, do it there. <laughs> do it there, not in front of the child. Right, right. Now, why is this psychologically important? Because the studies show that if a child can maintain a healthy relationship with parents, uh, psychologically speaking, even in this time, then as the child grows up, he'll have healthy relationships with peers, mm -hmm. teachers, doctors, and lovers. Mm -hmm. What the child learns about relationships young in a hot, hotly contested divorce, the child thinks that's normal. Mm -hmm. So if daddy treats mommy like that, maybe I should treat my girlfriend like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And this is borne out by experts. Yeah. Right? We didn't invent this. Mm -hmm. So that becomes the critical factor in custody cases in addition to handle the day-to-day on-the-ground things. How's so, that? Okay, so